In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add text over an image in Bootstrap Studio. So let's go to the program. So to do this, it's not too difficult, though it is a little bit fiddly. So to add text over an image, first of all, I'm going to add one of these one row, one column options. So I'm going to show you several different examples. So this one's just going to be a single image. So once I've added that to the body section, we can now see the column. And I'm going to add an image to the column. So just use the search box if you want to find these components. So add the image component to the column, either on the left-hand side, or you can drag it to the actual main space. And release. You can now see the image. So double-click on it, and you can choose an image from your PC. So I'm going to choose this one. Select OK. So we need to make it responsive. So with the image selected, go to the Options tab on the right-hand side and select Responsive. And we can now see the, the uh, image is responsive, so that it looks like this in a web browser. If the image is big enough and you want it to cover the entire screen, you can also select the container and choose Fluid, which should make the image near enough full screen. You have these little spaces between the left and right hand side you can also get rid of that if you want to so go to the appearance tab and under padding we can see the padding is set to 12 on the left and right so change it to zero and that image should now be full width and there it is so to add text over this what we need to do is we want to add a div so add a div to the container and you can now see it down there and I'm going to add both a heading and a paragraph to the div you can also add icons and other things as well to this uh, to this section so add a paragraph as well so the heading and paragraph are down below so to make them uh, appear over the image what we need to do is select the div then go to the Appearance tab and go down to Position or Positioning. And the top option, you want to change it to Absolute. So nothing's happening, but if we go back and select the Container, then go to the Options tab and go down to the Flex box. And if we use the top options, we can actually change the position of of the uh, the text, you can now see it's been moved around. I just changed the uh, color quickly so it so you can see it better. Just change it to white, and if I go back into options, select the container again. Again, you can position it wherever you want to, and so on, left and right. Personally, I prefer it to be dead center. So you must do this if you want it to be applied to all the screen sizes. Do it from the smallest version and it will be applied to all the screen sizes so i'm just going to reset that and go to the smallest version and then choose the same options then that will be applied to all the larger screen sizes so let's have a quick look in a browser so you can now see it looks pretty good and it's uh fully responsive and so on so let's just add a bit of text to, so it looks more realistic So let's have a look at a look at that in the browser. So it looks like that. You can also make the text dead center. So to do that, select the div and choose the options again. And right at the top, we can have the alignment. So we can choose to have it dead center. And it looks like that. So again, fully responsive. Of course, there's only so much um, text you can put within this until obviously it will be bigger than the image itself, but you can put a fair amount of text in, into it. 
So if you find that the text is hard to read over an image, you can actually add a background around the text. So to do that, select the div and go to appearance. And in the background, choose a color. So I'm going to choose black. And to add a bit of transparency, add the, uh, the slider, the second slider. We can add a bit of transparency, select OK. And we want a border, select the border option. So select the middle one, all borders, and choose a style. I'm going to choose solid. Uh, just going to increase it a little bit. And to add a bit of padding between the text and the border, go up to padding and just use the top option to apply equal padding to all sides. So I'm going to choose 15. And let's have a quick look at that in a browser. As you can now see, that looks pretty good. It's got a bit of a background and nice and easy to read. If you find that once you go to the smallest screen size that the border is too close, you can also add some margin. So again, with the div selected, go to the margin option and just choose the left and right ones. So I'm going to choose, let's go for 10 on the left and the right. And hopefully that should look better. So you can now see a little bit of a margin between the left and right. So that is basically one option to add it to a single image. Another option is multiple images. So I'm going to delete this, delete that. Uh, so this time I'm going to add one row and three columns to the body. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go into a bigger size a minute so you can see it better. So I'm just going to expand all this. So I'm going to add the image component to the first column and just repeat the same process. Click on it, double click, choose an image. So that, needs, that image needs to be made responsive. So go to options, choose responsive. And you can now see it fits within that column. So I'm just going to repeat the same process for each column. I'm just going to duplicate the image to make things simple and drag it to the column and do the same for the last one, duplicate and just drag it to the last column. So it helps if all the images are the same size. If they're not the same size, then obviously it's going to look a little bit of a, like a mismatch. So when you're doing this, it's ideally best to use images which have the same dimensions. So to add text over these columns, again, same process, get a div, drag it to the column. So I'm going to drag it to the first column, then add your heading or your paragraph or both. Again, I'm just going to choose both and a paragraph. And again, you can see it's placed below. So select the div, go to appearance, under positioning, choose the top option and choose absolute. Then select the column, then go to options. And again, you can use the flex box. So again, go into the smallest view for it to be applied to all the others. And you can just about see it. I just changed the, the color of the text so you can see it. Scratch that one, this one I want. So there it is. Let's have a look at it in the browser. So you can just about see the text. Again, you can add a background to make it more visible and a border and so on. So you can see that's kind of responsive again. If you need to add some space between the columns, you can see there's no space there. We can actually go into select the row and go to options. And the top option is the gutter size. So if we just choose a size, choose say four and four, for example, it adds a bit of space between the columns. So it looks more natural and so on. So I'm just going to add some background to this. So select the div and appearance background. I'm going to go for a black one again with a little bit of transparency. I'm going to choose a border again. 
solid border and a little bit of padding and so on so it looks like this now so that's pretty good you can see it very clearly again you're limited to the amount of text you can put in the, into this area as obviously it resizes and so on so i just add duplicate this I can then drag that down to the other column and duplicate it again and drag it to the last column. And if we go back into the small size, which I'm in, to select the column, so select the second column, options, flex box, and just choose a position. And do the same for the last column. And it should look something like that. So let's have a quick look. So there it is. So you probably find on that particular screen size that the images are probably be a little bit too small, especially if you have more text. So you can actually fix that. So what we need to do is just collapse the columns and we need to resize the columns. So we need to reset them. So select the column, set the first one, go to options. And right at the very top, you can see the width is a blue color. So if you middle click on your mouse or your touchpad, it should reset them. So middle click and it gets reset. Choose the second column and reset the width. And again, reset the width on the third column. So then it looks like that. So it looks broken at the moment. So let's close that. If we select the row, we can now choose how many uh, columns we want displayed. So under the options tab, we have the per row option. So click on the arrow to expand it and we can choose how many columns per row. So the first option is obviously on a mobile phone. So select one, also again, one for the second one, maybe two for the third one and three for LG. So if we go back into the browser, we can now see the different sizes. So you can see the resizing differently now and so on. So, and you can just keep on changing them. So if I want say one for MD, go back again, you can see the size, the size has been changed just like that. And if you need a bit of a padding on the top or the bottom again, just go and select the container and we can add uh, under appearance. We can change the margin. So top margin, maybe say 20 or so. And again, for the bottom, you might want to add 20 or whatever you want, basically. So you can now see there's a bit of a margin between the top and anything underneath. So I think that looks pretty good. Again, you can't obviously enter too much text as the, the actual size of the images are pretty small but certainly certainly enough anyway so the last option i'm going to show you is a background image i'm going to delete this so a background image won't be responsive but you know it will resize a little bit but it won't be fully responsive so for this again i'm going to choose one row one column and it's going to go to a bigger size so you can see it so we can actually add a background image to the container itself so with the container selected go to appearance and go to background and choose image add image click on the top option click on the plus sign and again you can choose an image from your computer so i'm just going to choose this one So you can actually see the image at the moment. So what we need to do is go to the appearance tab again. And at the top, we want to adjust the height. So I'm going to go for roughly 700 PX. And we can now see the image appears. And to make it full width, go to the options tab and choose fluid. And it should look something, something like that. And again, if it's any kind of white space on the left or right, just go into the uh, appearance tab 
and under the padding or margins just adjust the the margins to zero and it should be full width and so on so with the image name added you can also obviously change the uh, position so go back down to the background and personally i prefer it to be center and also under size choose cover that should be the same size now so that image is down there so again this won't be fully responsive but it does resize to a certain degree so it does say they um, stay dead center anyway so if the subject matter is in the center it will always be displayed so again it's the same process to add text or actually it's a little bit easier so um let's expand the column and we want to add a div to the to the column and same process add a heading and a paragraph or whatever you want and it's going to change the color of that again change the font color to white so you can see it better so you don't ha have to change the uh, the uh, the positioning it's already because uh, it's a background image the text gets placed over the top of it automatically so again to center the text or position it wherever you want to select the container go to the options and flex box and just use the options to position it if you wanted it say for example on the left hand side but obviously the text is way too close to the edge what you can do is um, select the div appearances and just use the padding option so choose padding left and you can adjust the padding and so on so and it looks a bit like that so again make sure to apply it to all screen sizes make sure you go to the smallest option first which i always forget to do so just going to reset that and go to the smallest option and then apply the settings and so on and that should then be dead center on all screen sizes As you can see, so that's how you can add text over a over an image where there's a background or just a normal image and so on. So hopefully that helps you. Thanks for watching.